Good morning everybody, it's uh, Monday, it's a bank holiday Monday and uh, that's like a national holiday day where most places, most places, not everyone, uh, have a day off work, kind of like a long weekend sort of thing, there's a few scattered across the year, sometimes Easter and things like that. Uh, and notoriously on the roads with one of the bank holidays, on the way home, particularly when, where you live where I do, where people come down to the seaside and escape uh, you know, the city life and that, uh, the roads can be pretty busy. Now tomorrow I have that course, the pizza making course in Nottingham, which is, um, it's actually uh, three hours, I've just checked the distance where I've got to go three hours from my house normally, uh, but because of the bank holiday traffic, which can be insane, um, I might need to leave pretty, pretty early today and then just chill out in the evening, go for some food somewhere, um, stay in a nice B&B &B cottage uh, before we do the pizza making course tomorrow. It's also half term, so the kids are here. Um, our neighbour very kindly yesterday gave us a swimming pool, uh, a big inflatable 15 foot thing that we're gonna actually just uh, set up soon. Uh, I was gonna do it this morning, I might still do it, we'll see, but I need to see how bad the traffic is because the traffic is really bad, I'm gonna walk the dogs and then we're just gonna go on the motorway. I've also planned for next week's vlogs to go up while I'm on the motorway, I've sort of scheduled that. And of course, most importantly, the kitchen uh, tomorrow, uh, they are starting to fit it. So I won't be here for that. Mrs. Barry and the kids are kind of going to be in and out. Uh, the oven and stuff like that is also arriving tomorrow. It's going to look amazing once it's done. We have survived uh, the weekend. We went for a roast dinner with some family. We went out for dinner. I think you saw that uh, on the last vlog. Uh, we're, we're getting by. Uh, I made a toasted bagel last night for a snack on the floor. <laughs> But we're, we're, we're happy and we're, we're just relieved that we're on the home straight now. So the kids are here somewhere. I'm going to have some breakfast somehow, somewhere, and uh, we'll see where this day takes us. It should be a really cool week. By the end of this week, this is going to look amazing. It's still going to need a bit of tiling and stuff like that, but we'll have a kitchen. There's the dogs just being fed. Oh, um, and I have two hours of footage typically every time I do one of these vlogs. It's taken me a long time to edit them, so what... Um, I have the walk, I forgot about that at the end of this week, I have that too. Uh, so I'm thinking I might vlog from Monday to Friday this week, so I've got the Saturday to edit it and then obviously prepare for the walk on the Sunday, which I'm also filming, which will actually be the vlog for the following week. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you excited for this swimming pool? Yeah. The weather is not looking too good actually for us to put it up, but we'll, it, we'll see. It's going to be cloudy, but it's going to be quite um, warm as the day. It's a bit like yesterday, really. Yeah, yesterday was hot and then cold and then hot and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I spent most of it editing last week's vlog, which was absolutely turned out to be pretty insane. But hey ho, uh, maybe we'll try and do it, shall we? Yeah. All right. Please. And you're off school this week? Yeah. Cool. Excited to have a new kitchen? Yeah. Me too. I really am. It's it's nice like that because it's space, but nah. Make her leg move again. That's funny. Stand up, girl. Is that it there? Where is it? There it is. <laughs> is that nice? Is that nice, girl? I had him doing that yesterday. Yeah. I think it's the same spot on both of them. Yeah, it's where this bit baggy bit is. Is it? Oh. oh you want it again? Oh. Oh, she's trying to do it herself now. I was talking to Mrs. Barry yesterday, saying, I really wanted to make a pizza oven. And I realised I'm actually going to collect one anyway. It's going to be on the back of a van uh, that's going to go in our garage permanently. So if ever I wanted to make a pizza, it's going to look really novelty that I can just do it out the back of my little teeny van thing. So I don't know if I'm going to do that now. Or I might do it at a friend's house. But it's kind of like, why do I need two pizza ovens? It's a bit overkill, right? So the B&B I'm staying in, in fact, literally just emailed me. I booked it last night and I was like, hang on a sec, they're not even asking me for any of my car details, but this is how trusting they are. Um, it's only 50 pounds a night and it looks beautiful. And the lady who owns it is like, you must be here by six because I'm going, I'm going to be shutting it. I'm like, that's awesome, that's fine. Uh, it just means that because of this traffic, I say, I will need to leave early. Uh, but she's like, emailed me, like not even a template, just a custom email, like three or four paragraphs long. I'm like, I hope you have a safe trip up. Please bear in mind the traffic. And as you're checking in at six o'clock, there's not much to do in the evening here. So if you'd like to go to one of the lovely restaurants nearby, I'll book you a table for you. I'll ring for you right now. I'm like, ooh, unless she owns that as well. <laughs> so it could just be a table for one, please, tonight. All right, dog walks. You got tap shoes on, Chloe? Yeah. Oh, you got tap shoes and where'd you get them from? Really? Very good dancing. Can you do football in tap shoes? Amy, down. 
All right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ready for my drive. Yeah. I realise I might have to spend the whole day on the motorway. Long old drive I got, mate. Show me that ball. It's so weird, isn't it? All right, we'll throw it at the dog. I have to put the pool up another. Don't do that. Not on me. Hey, mate. What are you eating? Good catch. Oh. Oh. Still wants to play football. Oh, hey. Ready to date? Oi. <laughs> Ready, boy? Busted? Busted. Here you go, boy. Ready? Oh. Well, that was that done. I don't know. It doesn't. It looks a bit murky out there to set up a pool. Because if we set it up, they're going to want water in it, and it's just going to be. Plus, I'm not going to be here just in case there's any problems. Don't want you drowning on me, huh? Don't want you drowning on me. Okay. Uh, I know you don't want me to go. But I'll be back tomorrow. All right. I oh, will. I will. Amy's not so bothered. We're having a little bit of lunch and my sisters before we go up to Nottingham, aren't we, Chloe? Yeah, and this is Charles. Sausage and bacon bat. It's not, it's not teenies. No. Oh, from side. Look at my room for the night. I've got a four post to bed and I'm the only one staying in this b, &B. It's actually on a very, very, very nice uh, location. I'll show you in a minute. But I have booked a little, uh, I just sort of want to sleep to be honest, <laughs> but I have booked a restaurant, so all good. Very kind ladies just said to me, I've got to pick what I want for breakfast. What should we have? It's got to be a classic breakfast, isn't it? I don't know, I've kind of gone off cooked breakfast at the moment because like, I don't know, they make you feel really full and kind of indigestion you for the rest of the day, but look, I'm on some sort of like weird estate thing. And she said, where I've booked the restaurant where she suggested is one of three roads in England that are closed at the moment and I might have to ring to get railway. Like, it will shut the railway so I can cross the road or something. Weird. Look, this uh, place is in a lovely setting. I'm, uh, I'm in one of these, well, I'm here on my own. There's no one else staying here, which makes it quite nice. Little uh, bench tucked away out there, but I'm going to this pub, get some food. I'm gonna have an early night. All right, so I've got to have a bit of a shower, uh, and I've got over to this pub that looks very, very nice. That awkward situation where I'm about to go into a pub uh, on my own and be like, table for one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I had a, a voicemail from uh, the people that are supposed to be delivering the two ovens and the hob and sink and stuff tomorrow. Uh, apparently they're like, oh, we're not servicing your area tomorrow. So oh, that's the voicemail. I just try to call them back in the shut. We're not servicing your area, so we won't be able to deliver it. I'm like, what's the point of the delivery date? Like, I don't know. So hopefully it won't be too much of a delay on that. Well, that cider, I don't know what was in it. I had a pint of cider. It was really strong. I feel drunk. Uh, so that's the weird thing about going for food on your own. I'm sure some of you have done it before as well. You kind of sit and earwig and listen to conversations generally, but there wasn't many people there. So I was a little bit bored, especially considering my uh, battery on my phone has now died, meaning the sat nav I was using to get back to the B&B, &B, which is about a 15 minute drive. I'm gonna have to try and do it by memory. And it's so white, it's such, uh, anyhow, Let's get back. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get back. I thought I found it, folks. I'm gonna, just gonna bring it down to what it actually looks like right now. That, we're losing light pretty badly. Uh, I'm just bringing it down to what the light is actually right now. We're starting to lose it quite quick and I'm scared because I've <laughs> got no charge on my phone. 
and I am actually lost right now. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, we made it back. Uh, why does it look so light? It's not light, it's like this. It is like, it's like this. I've never worked out why it does this. I mentioned it in most vlogs, but like, this camera, is, the light is just like three or four times brighter than it actually is every time, but I've just made it back. That was starting to get like something out of a movie. All right. See, that's what I really want to show you as well. It looks like daytime. I'm tempted to just have a little coffee out on the sun lounge here, but nah, let's get to bed. All right, all, all tucked up for the night. I'm gonna watch some telly for five minutes. Good night. Hello, thank you for calling Arrow XL. I will try to find your order. Thank you. Putting me through to an advisor now. Aha! Morning. I'm a bit annoyed. Ugh. So, I had a voicemail yesterday whilst I was driving up here. Basically, the uh, ovens, sink and hob were supposed to arrive today. Uh, and I just got a really quick voicemail from them and I've just rang them up and they're like, oh no, we can't re-deliver till Friday now. I'm sure he explained to you in full why. And it's like, why? And they're like, oh, the, the van broke down. I'm like, okay, the van broke down, get it fixed and then do it the next day. And they can't do it till Friday now, um, which might cause some problems with the kitchen fitting actually, because they need to know where to put at the, the specific parts and stuff. So, uh, especially for piping for the gas hob. So I'm gonna uh, ring someone up quite angry right now. I'm gonna, I've actually got a separate number to call. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, perfect preparation for my uh, pizza course. So I'm gonna be thinking about that all day now, uh, but I won't, I'll switch off and um, well, I'll do my best to learn as much as I can today. I can't remember if I said I was gonna go for breakfast at eight or half eight. I'm the only person going to it. So it's about to hit quarter past eight. I'll make this quick call and then calm down over breakfast. Uh, I just rang them and they can't deliver it till Friday. Oh, okay. No, that's not good. No. Healthy. Uh, yeah, so it turns out, I've just been talking to the lovely lady here. Uh, <laughs> my course is a pro level course. Yes. And I, when I got lost last night, we nearly ended up by Sherwood Forest. I'm not sure if I uh, told you that, but uh, could have uh, stayed the night in a tree with Robin Hood and all that stuff. All right, let's go do this course. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film. Um, I don't know if they'll like that at all, and apparently it's going to be very intense. So this might be all you see, apart from me covered in dough at the end of the day. Meanwhile, hopefully someone's started to fit my kitchen. I've just pulled over because I'm a little bit lost, but I feel like I'm in Downton Abbey or something. It's a beautiful area. All right, let's keep going. So I've got my book, my phone, my wallet, keys, and potentially this camera. Uh, I have got a hold all, but I look like I'm going on holiday. I haven't got a small bag with me. Oh no. Uh, I guess I have to just try and find room for it all. It's rough. That is to make two 180 gram pizzas. Give it a take. Making pizza. It's my pizza. I ran out of cheese though, so that'll do. So it's the end of the course. Uh, I've got a three and a half hour drive ahead of me. Yours, uh, Mrs. Barry, just spoke to her and uh, she's all good. Uh, the kitchen fit has done a little bit today, fitted out the base unit, so we'll get home later and catch that. But it's a long old drive. The course was really, really good. I learned so, so much. Um, there were so many different levels of skills on the course. There are some people that just want to do it as a hobby. There's people that are already doing festivals. And I'm kind of like in between the two of that. But one thing I do have is a newfound respect for this whole industry. It's not just like, yeah, we're gonna make pizzas and that's it. It's like the whole prep and the time involved. I've got the passion like, for it, but it's more like the time. Uh, and so I need to be really sent. I'm not in any rush to start this. We go get the pizza over next week, um, but I'm not in any rush to be like, oh, I must do this because obviously my bread and butter is YouTube and I need to make sure that I don't uh, sacrifice any of that, but still work to do this in a sensible way that I don't take any too crazy risks, but hopefully get it sustainable so that I can uh, employ someone and get them doing it with me and sharing what I've learned today. So I'm excited. I'm not excited for my three and a half hour drive home, 
especially when I found out there's a course in Devon, which is a lot closer to me. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. But I just want to get home now. I stink of wood. It was a really cool. Wood fired pizza ovens are hot things, folks. Yes. Yes, they are. Just want to show you the buildings where we were. Look, they're all like little, like really old school buildings like this. Really nice. Right, let's go. This is what's known as being stuck in a traffic jam, folks, after only 15 minutes on the road. This bodes well. All right, folks, half past nine at night, and I'm home. Amy! What's up, mate? What's up? You look fat. You put on weight. What's that? Hello. Hello. Have they been walked? Yay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You look tired? Okay. You had a busy day? <gasps> Can I go see at least a little bit of the kitchen? Yeah. What the heck is that? I can't see anything. I need to put my light on. All oh, right, okay, cool. Wow. This is, this is, um, this is just, it doesn't really make sense to me right now. But it's kitchen units. Well, this is the kitchen. Oh yeah, okay, cool. You can see the... Uh... Oh yeah, those base units are really cool. They're nice and in line with that wall. Nice, 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 nice. Not really much to show you. <laughs> but there's things. There you go. Why does it feel like I've been gone away for like a week? Maybe because the Yeah. I was saying, oh, that balloon's still up, but I've only been really gone a day. Oh, I totally like you having pizza then, Chloe, for breakfast, but that's our pizza plates, isn't it? Mm. You alright, guys? Yeah. What's going on? We've got some Oh, we've got some ants, haven't we? They're all coming from along here. Ah, right. All the way up to there. Oh, no. There was one on the table. Well, this is the problem at the moment, because we haven't got the skirt in fully either. Yeah. on there. Well, we wouldn't put skirt in on there anyway, but we can put our floor in against it and then put silicon anyway. Yeah. So we're going to seal it up. So hopefully, um, oh, we're doing the flooring next Wednesday. So we need to be ant busters. Yes. Ant But I did read that you can sometimes put like a little trail somewhere outside to lead them outside, but I don't know. So I can't remember if I touched on it yesterday. Um, one option I have, which would maybe be today, um, it have to be today actually thinking about it because I've got the kids tomorrow um, is driving up wherever up is to physically collect the sink tap and hob uh, I don't really want to do that but if I do it that means it's gonna make the kitchen fitters life easier and also my friend who's a plumber uh, can come and actually connect the sink and the hob uh, with the gas and all that stuff so he's already uh, run the pipe you can probably see the gas pipe running on the floor he's done to there whilst there's good access to it uh, but then he's gonna have to go up and connect it uh, but obviously until we've got the hob we don't exactly know where that's gonna be and where the guy needs to put his cut so he's here. is he oh he is here there you go brilliant that's cool and get cracking I'm excited to uh, probably keep out the way actually oh my bike arrived Chloe said so while you're out today having a picnic even though the weather's turned horrible it was lovely where I was yesterday in the end. Um, I might build that at some stage today. I really wanted today to be my training walk day for the, the thing on Sunday, which is supposed to be raining, by the way. But that's going to be good if it's weather like that. What if you... <laughs> mm. what if Sorry. You kill what if I kill myself? Really? How will I do that? In the rain. In the rain, it is steep hills, but I'm pretty safe like that, mate. I'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Look at that drain, girls. It's not, it's all full. Oh my god. Huh? So we're doing a nice little walk. Take the dogs out. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'm saving snails. Look folks, that is authentic British snail. And a slug as well. A slug. I feel like we're on like a wildlife trek. Look, it's a slug. Where do they come from? Look, there's a snail. Where do they come from though? Isn't it how when it rains they just come out of nowhere? Where are they hiding? In the shade. In the shade. Probably in that grass. Yeah. That's what I know about you, Phoebe. You're smarter than me. Where are we? Whereas you? <coughs> not sure about you yet. 
So there's a guy fit in the kitchen in the house. It's a very wet day, the dogs are grumpy. I can tell when they're a bit grumpy or they don't want to be out in the weather like this. I don't want to be out in the weather like this. Um, likely be doing lots of bits on the computer because uh, the kitchen guy will be making a fair bit of banging and sawing and stuff. But I uh, spoke to him about the island bit, about pushing it and making it a little bit longer. And he can do whatever he wants. He's a bit of a wizard really, so I'm really happy with it. By the end of today, you should get a much better idea of how it's going to look. And also, for this walk, it's supposed to rain a lot. Uh, so I haven't got to do a big road trip and we can wait another day for the sink I'm printing off some diagrams for the chap downstairs for the um, hob and that's the sink <laughs> you recognize the hob it's the same one as the one at my old house there we go so he knows how big to cut his holes all right then guys so the uh, kitchen fitter has uh, got all his bits and he's chugging away Doing an amazing job to be fair, and I'm going to go buy some tiles. That's what I need, these ones. So I've just driven all the way up here. That was the tiles I need. They have one box in stock. Yay! Um, and they're not in stock anywhere else. So I'm going to have a quick Google on my phone, see if there's another like tiling company somewhere nearby try and find something similar uh yeah all right dedicated tile shop let's give this a try mm -hmm. all right so um just went in uh, another tile shop and they've got these two types as well um it's obviously up to mrs barry which ones we go for uh, that was in Tops Tiles, and one of the chaps just come out and said, Hey, I recognise you, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, that happens sometimes, folks, only sometimes, but they've also given me some cards for some people to uh, possibly ring to do the tiling. But I'm going to take these back. We can order some online, I guess. I built my mountain bike today, folks. Uh, it's going to be a quiet week because we have this chap here building the kitchen. I don't want to disturb him too much, but look, check this out. Uh, this is where the hob is going to be. Uh, we've got the other worktop over there. I actually think that it's, in the camera it shows it even more. That looks considerably darker than that one. Um, but I'm going to oil them anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> But I think it's the light as well. But I don't mind if it's like a two-tone oak thing whatsoever. We've got these really cool units. I'm only going to give you a very quick preview because he hasn't adjusted them yet. But look. Ooh. Yeah, look. They go up like that. How cool is that? But there's no point in me doing like anything too crazy yet uh, until you know, we've got the whole thing in. Um, tonight, I'm going to get in here, put some filler in and actually give it a little lick of paint. Uh, just because I can. And I think it's important to do it now whilst it's like this, because uh, this is where the fridge is going to be. But you can see how we've got that nice clean run there and the, the units are sunk back. Had a wall tiler stick his head in earlier to give another quote. Uh, this is where the ovens are going to be. Very nice. Got some uh, storage in here. Uh, some pull out drawers in here, like real big deep drawers, so loads of cool storage. And then in there is going to be the roller shutter that we talked about. Uh, look at this. Lots of space, amazing. Uh, so that is the roller shutter right there, look at that. So that thing will go in the corner there and I don't know what this unit is. Oh, is that the oven housing? I think that's what the oven sits in. I'm not sure, unless I'm think missing something else. Oh, actually I think that's gonna go there to cover the boiler up, thinking about it. But hey ho, it's looking stonking. Uh, Massive jump, hopefully Mrs. Barry's gonna like it. So I've asked him to, it was gonna stop about here originally, but I wanted a bit more lip, so when I obviously do my videos, uh, the hob will be there. I have plenty of space still to, to do like chopping and all that bits and bobs, so very cool, very cool. I'm giving up on tiles. Looks like I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow to be a delivery driver. I'm on hold to the delivery company because they can't deliver until 
potentially last minute Friday. My plumber is going away for the weekend. Given that it's supposed to be here by Tuesday, I can understand that. He's now said, I can't plumb it because I'm going to be not here. So I'm going to have no sink and hob potentially for the whole weekend if I can't get it. So I'm going to be the delivery driver. The oven I can wait for. That's going to come on Friday anyway. But I'm going to drive up to Birmingham potentially tomorrow to get it. Even though I'm supposed to have the kids. So I might not even need the delivery drivers. I'm being the delivery driver for them. <laughs> Mental. Oh, that's really bad. I was going to have a nice day out with the kids tomorrow. So hopefully my parents can have them in the morning for me for a few hours or something like that. But it's not cool. So I've just spoken to him. And yes. <laughs> I'm allowed to go to quite a high security depot tomorrow that no one's never normally allowed to go to. Because that's where the deliveries go out from. I'm going to go in there and load up my van, maybe even with the ovens as well, maybe, and bring them home. When we wait a day later, they're going to deliver them, but if I wait a day later, my friend's not going to be there, so hey-ho. Oh, people are home. What a weird day. What is it? Green, it's just a paper, paper, right on. Is this a shop? No, we're going to, me and Phoebe might do this when we're older. Oh, you're going to start a business? Yeah. <laughs> and then green means we're going to do a lot, and blue means we're not going to do it a lot. Wow, and you guys are like little entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get this? Family members, and these are the people oh. who want things. Yeah, these are your things. customers, are they? Yeah. Oh, good bit of data analysis, I, I like mean, it. This room's called I Know You. I don't think so. Yeah. Alright, come on, I've got to go break some news to you, Mummy, hang on. Okay. Like, do these open? Yeah, but they're, they're not done properly yet, but... Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's too fast, see? Oh, it goes all the way up like that. Really scary. I don't like no, no, it needs to be slowed right down, that's what he's going to do, but it's okay. cool, right? Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. But I mean, I was so impressed with how wide this is as well, from a filming. Like, obviously, the hob can be tucked right in here and still get loads of space for stuff. That was so critical. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, where the hob's going to go, because I thought... The hob's going to sit about here. There. Are they so going to be able to cut it there because it's right on the join of where the... Um, yeah, yeah, he's got all that planned. Covered. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. He's going to do all that. Alright, I've got some bad news though. About the tiles? Uh, oh, the tiles, yeah, don't worry about the tiles. I've been everywhere about that today. It's not all good. Alright, what's the bad news? I've got to go to Birmingham tomorrow potentially to go and collect. They will let me go to their high security th thing to collect the hob and the sink because Mike's going away this weekend, uh, the plumber. So we have to get it fitted. Otherwise the carpenter can't do it, so I need to find a babysitter for the kids for a few hours while I go to Birmingham first thing. Okay. It's been a funny old day, folks. Tomorrow's going to be even weirder. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty... Oh, the camera shows that so well. Look, that's definitely a different shade. At first I was like, nah, nah, nah. It's the light when it was early in the day, but that is... I'm sure. I mean, you can oil it to blend it in. Tomorrow, I'm going to set off super early in the morning to go and get uh, the hob and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to nip and try and get some tiles. One of my mates, the electrician, uh, I can't get hold of him, which is a little bit annoying because I need to run a cable under here for the hob, for the ignition. And um, he's not answering his phone, which, yeah, really helps. But hey-ho, progress. It's, it's coming together talking to mrs barry about it as well and it's like um i'm running out of videos that i've already done ahead of time and we don't have a kitchen but we do have sockets and we do have a microwave so i might just put up a few microwave recipes anyhow dogs are kind of there all right you Hello. how's it going hello girl It's six thirty in the morning. Hello, Amy. Hello, mate. Let's go to Wales to get some tiles. What are you having? A little sniff. Hello. Let's get to Wales and get some tiles. That rhymes. Yeah, it does sort of rhyme, does it? Wales get some tiles, then up to near Birmingham to get our hob and sink that might not ever turn out. So, um, and then when I get back, I'll be with you guys, all right? Yeah. Give me five. Thanks. So off we go to Wales first of all to get some tiles. So this is the bridge to go across into Wales. 
We're going international today. I used to do this drive every morning before I started my Virgin Kitchen. Well, that was a bit of a surreal drive for me because I used to work here, as I say, over the bridge. Uh, I would leave a little bit earlier though than that. I'd normally be at my desk at 7am, but yeah, it's a little bit strange looking uh, coming back around this way. So this is where I'm going and uh, opens in about 20 minutes. There is a McDonald's drive through around the corner somewhere. I haven't had any breakfast, I haven't even had coffee, just sort of shut out the door. Oh, I've got to get these tiles and then it's a bit of a longer drive, but we'll be alright. We'll get there. <coughs> there we go. Six of those bad boys. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here I am, folks. Uh, I am a delivery driver for the day. This is a massive, massive yard. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll go to security, all right, let's do this. I got sent to another car park. <laughs> I like, that this is it. I feel like I'm one of the work colleagues here now. Look at this, there's put cars everywhere. I've just, there's no car park bays left, so I've just pulled in uh, to the side. I don't even know where the heck I'm going. This is so weird. I just want to get my little hob and go. Oh. oh, there we go. That's a bit more promising. It says reception up there. Okay. The last scene you saw was I was stood in the toilet going, what the hell is going on? I had about five people running around for looking for boxes for me. I have got the sink, the tap, and the hob in the back. Yes, but then they tried giving me the oven as well. I'm like, two ovens aren't gonna fit in there, so please do my delivery tomorrow as standard. And now saying that might now get pushed back as a result. I'm like, do you know what, I don't care. All I need is running water. And uh, uh, yeah, it was very, very weird being sat in an office in that sort of setting again. Like. It was like a morgue, everyone was typing and all quiet. I was like, I do not miss uh, that atmosphere. I was like, there's no sort of smiling going on or anything like that. It's kind of like, oh, I'd hate that for me, my job. I don't know, I don't miss those days. But anyhow, loaded tiles, oven and a hob there. Kids staying at a friend's house for a couple of hours. So I've got to go collect, sort out the kitchen fitter, get the kids and uh, chill with them. Amy's also got a bad tummy as well. She pooed in the kitchen twice this morning. Just stopped at the services to get some diesel. One thing I forgot to tell you was I forgot uh, this morning to take my driver's license with me, uh, <laughs> which has my proof of address on it. So they were very kind and let me take these things with me. Otherwise I would have had to go home, then come back, then go again. Uh, yeah, that would have been like an extra four hours. So nearly a 200 mile round trip. I'm gonna be home by 11. Good times. And just as I'm leaving this service station, a policeman over there has just told me to uh, stop because <laughs> of all things, look, there's this thing here getting an escort onto the motorway. Look at the size of this. I don't even know what that is. Isn't it just a set of gates? You can tell me, Secret Vlog Club, you can tell me. Uh, that looks like a gate. Uh, is that part of a boat? Oh, I don't know. It's like a veranda, isn't it? That thing on the end of it joins onto it. But look, he's got an escort with him with a little mo walkie talkie. There was a guy on a bike and a police car. And now there's another escort van, police, and then a police bike. And it's caused quite a backlog. So, just got back. Taking the dogs around to get the girls. My friend Beth, Chin's wife, has been looking after them. These guys have been sleeping all morning and the kitchen's looking good. Just picked the kids up from my friend Beth's who very kindly looked after them this morning whilst I did my adventure. And I'm now borrowing, not the bike that I built, because I built my new mountain bike. This is Mrs. Barry's bike, isn't it, Clay? Phoebe's up ahead. And uh, there's not much food in the house. We're going for a pub lunch. And then we might see your friend Faith and Nats, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Faith, Faith. yeah, so they might meet us at the pub and then we'll get drunk and then see if the weather holds off because it keeps raining. You two are just like mummy. This is just like the other week. Go on, Em. You gonna move it then? No. Oh.
Yeah, we're stuck in the pub, we're gonna have a lock in. Well, this was a great idea. <laughs> Let's go for a bike ride. Why have you taken your headband off, you donkey? Oh, okay, come on. Oh my gosh, what a day. I've just left the kids uh, at Becky's friend's house, Naps, who was gonna have them all afternoon, um, but I had a call, I had a really interesting call uh, with Twitch, I don't know if you've heard of them. Uh, probably if you guys are into gaming, you've probably seen lo lots of live stream gaming things going on. Well, they've um, potentially reached out about me doing exclusive live streams on their platform. So rather than doing like a Facebook Live or a, is that Becky? No, I thought that was, a bit, <laughs> that was nearly a car crash outside, like Becky's car, um, Mrs. Barry's car. So they've reached out about potentially doing uh, live streams dedicated on Twitch. So that's part of the exclusivity, but they would make me a partner on there, which is, I think, quite a cool thing. Uh, and it might be that every week at a certain time, I go, right, at uh, 9 p.m. on Tuesday night, we're going to do a live stream cook-along every week. Uh, so it was something I found really, I don't know much about it. Uh, uh, Dan Nerve Cubed and Stuart Ashton have sort of told me really good things about it. Um, so we'll see, and I know that Amazon have just taken them over. So more on that, but if you've got any opinion on that, I'd really be interested because it sounds like a really nice platform as well. So, you know, it's all good. There's electric cables in here because this drawer right here is run, I press a button and out will come the bins electronically in there. Cool, huh? Ovens are still in Birmingham, where I was this morning. Couldn't afford the room to bring it with me, uh, but we have got the sink all fully in, how cool is that? Love it. The hob, you remember, remember this hob, you might recognize it? It's in, it's looking good. Happy? Yeah. Nearly there, huh? Yeah. Check this out, check this out, ready? So they go up, and do it slowly. But look, you only have to do this. Oh, I did that quite fast. You did? Oh, no, oh. Oh my gosh. Look, uh, uh, you have to go. Oh, that's the test now. I can't even open them. You have to, it's a hinge, look. It's going to open it for you. You just give it the motion. There you go. No, <laughs> you look so right. small. And how on earth am I going to reach? That's the standard height for a wall unit. I go on the tiptoes. Well, if any lower, it might as well be a second base unit. Oh, there you go. That's cool, right? So, we can't, so we can't I get. Put plates and things. You have to put cups and glasses. You can reach stuff there. I can. Like, I can reach stuff there. Look. Well, I can. That could be my shelf. That's the Barry shelf. Another Barry shelf. Another Barry shelf. Have we got... It's scary how deep these are as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, there's still a lot of storage, considering we cut it back to there. Morning, Mrs. B. Morning. All right? Yeah. Ah. Right, let's get the tape measure. Is that my tape measure or someone else? I don't know. I'm just going to use it anyway. Hello, Amy. Um, we're going to measure up for some skirtings, yeah? Okay. So, um, obviously we've got to whack the old skirtings off. Well, that's actually, that one's not too bad there. The little skirtings that run along. Uh, obviously where the old units used to be, I need to put a new bit to run all the way along there. We've got to measure this whole area. Well, actually, nothing's going to go there, but this whole room. So, we'll do that. And then I've got some recycling gear to the tip. And then while I'm there, I can get some skirting on order. And they actually sell it pre-painted as well, some stuff. Oh, so I've got to paint gloss at it. Cool, all right then. Because I end up getting it on the floor. Get a move on, because they're coming in a minute and they're girls need breakfast. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well, that was a very successful measuring stint, Amy. Thank you very much. Mrs. B and I have just measured all the skirting and we've got to add all these up. Yeah. You've not got much milk. Milk? I told you we need to get a cow. Can we not milk Amy? Right. Yeah. Got an independent uh, verifier here. I've just done the maths and Phoebe's doing the calculator as well. I just checked the weather for the charity walk on Sunday. What? It's supposed to be hot. Do you need to bring a lot of water? <laughs> yeah, I do, don't I? Like, probably 10 bottles of water. Mm hmm. We'll get it. We'll do it, mate. My favourite aisle in the shop, kitchen gadget aisle. Do you 
just about to go in from the shops. Uh, bought an old bike pump as well. Oh yeah. Um, I've just realised that the parcel delivery the ovens I haven't had any messages, and I'm really worried after me going up to collect it that they're still not going to deliver the rest of the items today. Ah, oh, go back and call them. So I just rang the delivery company. I was on hold for 40 minutes, and they are delivering it. Check this out. This is the roller shutter. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a day where there's not really much to show you other than me going back and forth collecting bits uh, so we can help finish this kitchen. I've gone three times now. Uh, this is a place called Plum Base. Uh, it's basically a good place for plumbers to get bits because we're trying to fit the waste to the sink. And the sink we've got apparently is one of the strangest things ever to fit. So hey ho, the gas has been fitted. My friend Mike's come and done that. And we are on the home straight just praying uh, that these ovens turn up tonight. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to tell you about the way the rest of my day has been. i tell you about the rest of it. Does that make sense? I think it did make sense. Anyhow, the workmen have gone. They were here for a very long time. I went to Bunnings, uh, the hardware store, which actually went bust this week. Uh, four times today. I went to a plumber's merchant twice and I went to another shop twice. And also once I went to uh, the Bunnings once, I picked up some shorts for my walk. I keep thinking to myself, hang on a sec, I'm doing a charity walk and I haven't had any chance to practice. I really want to do a big walk, but nonetheless. Oh, yay. Have a we have a kitchen. It's literally just gone. Uh, we're going to like oil it up and stuff um, properly tomorrow. Probably going to wipe it down. Actually just put some appliances in place, move the fridge there. I'm going to do a proper walkthrough video, but not until the tiles are done and the flooring's done. I'll probably do a walkthrough video of the house. I've also realised I probably am not going to have time to do a video for this Sunday uh, because things have overrun. I've got the kids tomorrow because Mrs Barry's at a baby shower and the walk on Sunday. So for the first I was thinking, oh yeah, I could do a live stream on Sunday, but I can't because I'll be walking uh, 30 miles. I could live stream while I'm walking, couldn't I? That might be a little bit weird and I'll probably be out of breath. And I'll lose all my batteries if I get lost during the walk. There we go. But hey, oh my gosh. Hey, does this look good or what? I like it. I know, I started doing it a minute ago. I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to pick the camera up. I so. thought it was going to be easy. Yep. We've got to oil all these up and it'll look good. We've got the oven that we had before. We've got two of them, baby. Two. And I scarily like the roller shutter, but anyhow, let's worry about that later. That's neat like that. I quite like that vlog camera. It's not completely level. Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't have a choice. It looks good like that. It's just it's not level at the moment because the floor's not right. Oh my gosh. You're gonna get a reputation for being a mono, you know I'm that. Sorry, I'm not really Go on, mate. Oh. Last one. You better catch me if I fall. I will catch you, that's why I'm here. I'm giving you emotional support. Oh my knees are killing. Yeah, I like that. I feel like changing the letters on that and see. It's quarter to ten at night. I've got to probably finish the vlog at first thing in the morning, but the kids, we haven't seen much of the kids this week on the vlog. Do you know what? Because it's half term as well. I know, <laughs> we haven't seen see much. I don't even know if I told the vlog earlier, I was pumping up the tyres here, I showed it, and then this pump that I bought was not that good, so I put it outside in the car with the air compressor, and it blew up the inner tube. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was just a little bit like occupied. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's our kitchen. What would we put there? Maybe we do make that the dog corner or something. I don't know. We need some picture, something on the wall. We're just talking about this, but anyhow. Once everything's tidy, we'll get a better picture. Yeah. What, a better picture? As in a picture? No. Or a better picture of what we want to put there? A better picture as in. So they said that this is actually the same worktop in the end, but that those other ones, because they were on the same batch together with this one, it wasn't. Um, it was didn't get stained properly, so yeah, that's that's, that's why. Exciting to fill the kitchen 
I know, I'm so excited. We've been living out of boxes for so long. Is that really sad? No, we had boxes. Remember we had all the boxes here and then there. Oh, oh folks, look, look at that. Look what the kitchen used to look like. Look at that. Oh, and we were just short of, I just got some of the tiles out there. We were just getting a bit excited, weren't we? So we kind of go with the colour of the fridge a little bit and we're going to get those around there. About four high, just to give us a little bit of a splash back for the hobby in there and all the way around to there. And then along there as well. Do you know what I'm also doing? Taking a mental image of how very clean and shiny these oven doors look because they will never, ever. They'll never, ever be like that. Be like that again. No, but <laughs> we are going to put tea towels over it as well because the reflection on the camera will be mental. I will keep it clean because it's on shelf. Yeah, of course you will. It's not hidden anymore. I'm going to No, that's right. Yeah, we've got to look after yeah, it. Well, that was the notorious thing about that other oven. Do you remember? It used to get these really weird splashes on it. It was really hard to get off. But we'll do our best. But a tea towel draped over it. If you see that, then you'll know why, Secret Vlog Club. <laughs> we have a new kitchen. We do. Yay. But when this is all in there and there's not a bike in our front room and all these boxes, wow. It's going to be like, we don't know what to do with this table. This table is fully extended. It's not normally that big. Ah, oh, okay. It is the shot, yeah, the, the, this camera, it's right on but it's this camera's light. light that makes that look really different. It's nowhere near, it like actually in person when you're stood here, I can't explain it, but this is almost identical to that. It's the colors in this camera, but uh, it's also because it hasn't been oiled, so yeah. Don't even think about it. Stop, no. Oh my goodness, <laughs> stop. If I open that door, I can ride my bike all the way through the house. What's your name, Gordon Ramsay? On a, on, on a TV show. Oh, oh. What's your name? Gordon Ramsay? On a bike? <laughs> no, listen, there's a reason. Sense. There's a reason I said that. There's a TV show called Tilly and the Ramsay Bunch on CBBC that the oh, kids watch. Oh, true story about that. Do you yeah. remember that? No, no, listen, listen, let story? me finish my story. Yes, let me finish my story. And in one of the episodes, he has his bike around the house in LA mm. and rides it round in a big circle like what you're trying to do. Alright. Okay, finish my true story. story about Thank Tilly you. and the Ramsay Bunch, Secret Vlog Club. We were going to have a TV show on CBBC, but they decided to pick Gordon Ramsay because he was a teeny bit famous than us. It's going to be me and Phoebe. True story. Get it off. Barry, it works. It's fine. No, don't ride it through there in the carpet. No, don't. <sighs> Alright? Yep. I thought there was a dog bed there. <laughs> Silly Billy. Boston was like, what? What are you doing? You finished now? Yep. Finish being a big kid. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. I come down and you're you're stood on this. What's going on? Do you like the kitchen? Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Looks good, huh? Yeah. In five. Wow. It looks so nice now. It's a little lighter in here this morning. I oh, loves it. I do. So we have a, a day or a morning of filling all the cupboards up. Uh, oiling the worktops and filling it all up with all the bits that we've had in boxes for months. Hey May! Alright, so garage. It's actually a lot less empty than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, this laminate flooring is what's going to be going down in there. Uh, but in here are uh, boxes scattered around, all these different shelves. Uh, with like bits from our kitchen. Cake tins, for example. Cake tins are there. So this is what we're going to be doing this morning. Get that all filled out. And it's very weird to think that in this uh, uh, garage by the end of next week, there'll be no laminate floor and I'll tidy this up. And there will be a van, a wood-fired oven pizza van in here. Now there is one catch. I've just been emailed to say it does not actually uh, have the keys to get into the front of it, which would be fun, but hey-ho. This place is a tip, <laughs> but it's been a lot worse over the last few weeks and months. I mean, look at this. This is just the box of silicon stuff. Anyone for some gummy bears, huh? <laughs> oh, right, must, it's going to take quite a while. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I am really enjoying this. <laughs> I can't imagine oh. I can feel like a weight being lifted off of me. <laughs> oh! It is. And I look around and Chloe's on the table. Yeah, she's like sat on the table. Nice. Alright. Top, top house moving tip. Never move. Never move, yeah. Get someone, no. Pay someone to do it all for you. 
That's yeah. my top tip for me. <laughs> yeah. Action! Okay. Well, Phoebe's uh, helping sort it out. She's in charge. Uh, getting there, we're getting there. So that's, it was like so long ago now. Oh my gosh. Teaching Phoebe how to fill up the pepper mill. We've had this for years. <laughs> so, ooh. we've got loads of these uh, pepper refills. Right, Phoebs? Yes. Oh, we're on this peppercorns in there. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> so, rather than pouring it in like that, we're going to get, there you go, a jug. Good stuff. It's like doing a science experiment at school. It's a bit strong. Yes. Alright, nice. Good stuff. Carefully. Carefully. No, 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 Huh? Yeah, we should record it. Well, we do record it because on videos, isn't it? But it's going to take quite a while, I think. Oh, we forgot to do pinch punch with Dave and Mum yesterday. We had a busy day yesterday, mate. Well, today's pretty busy too. Oh, yeah, we did. So, we have had some, a little ant problem, haven't we, mate? Yeah. Recently. A big one. A big ant problem. In that obviously, having sugar right by the door there and the floor being temporary. I think I mentioned it, but there's a little hole somewhere along here where be when we do the floor and it will seal it up. But the ants sometimes get in, and we found one or two on the table. But what you've done there, Phoebes, isn't it? What we've just researched yeah. by putting a little bit of pepper on the floor accidentally. Yeah. Ants don't like pepper. No. So you've basically done a, a kind of like nice, safe, toxic free ant preventer thing. Mm. Oh no, don't scatter them. Oh, these are dogs. <laughs> no, yeah, don't scatter them on the floor, mate. I think, I think there's a few little crumbs anyway. I think they'll, I think they'll get the hint. So, hello. Have you just found a book that I wrote for Mummy years ago? Yeah. I did. I wrote this book for her. See, see the front? Was it a hundred percent soppy reasons that I love you? There you go. Aww. You make me smile. You are my sunshine. I want to think of you. I turn to jelly. Oh, did I do all this? You did. Did I put all that effort in? Oh yeah, she went, you went to New York, didn't you? And while she was away, I wrote this book out for her. Ah, uh, there was a huge pile of rubbish there. That huge pile of rubbish is now Mrs. Barry's car. I'm taking that to my favourite place, the tip. Uh, I've got to get back quick because uh, Mrs. Barry's baby shower. And then I've got the kids. I was planning on editing you right now, but we've overrun because back in the kitchen away took a lot longer than we thought. Hello, children. Hi. What are you doing? Waiting in the car for you. Welcome to Daddy Daycare. Hi, Daddy Take Daycare. Take notice. Cinema? Yeah. We're off to town to go to the cinema. Daddy's driving. Hello. We are very excited. Yeah! On the post. We've just parked on the roof of the car park, as you tend to do on a Saturday in my hometown, as it's so busy. And look, we give you Secret Vlog Club Nature. That is, what is that, Chloe? I don't know. It's a seagull. And is that in the background just there, the peak where I'm going to be walking tomorrow? Hmm? I think it might be, you know. I'm not sure. I don't really want to think about that right now. Actually, I've got you on full zoom. Look, that's the Western Eye. And that's the beach down there. So that's the London version. Uh, that's the Western version of the London Eye. It's probably not What's called the Western Eye, but... Is the London Eye a, that big? I it's a big wheel. Should we go on it? I don't know. No, I once scared Mummy by going on it. Uh -huh. oh, I wish I was that seagull, just chilling out. Should we go to the cinema then? Yeah. What are we going to go watch? Show, Show dogs. dogs. All right. You got messages. Means I can... I got messages. Oh my gosh, thank you. There we go, Chloe. Let's have a quick look before the cinema. Look. Behold, all the holiday makers. The crazy golf course. All these people come here. And we're very blessed to live here, girls. A lot of people laugh at our hometown, but do you know what? There's worse places to live. So what you waiting That's a little for? speech, alright? That's about speech. So, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go to the cinema. Alright. Thanks, guys. Cinema, cinema. Bye. 
Bye kids. Have fun. Bye. Alright, go on then Vic, Chloe, you can do it. Right, which one do we Show need? dogs, find the film. Oh, is it on? It's not on. Oh, let's go. There. There it is. Show dogs. Alright, so the deal with it is that you guys go in the cinema and I'll have a sleep on these sofas, alright? <laughs> I'll have a beer. Number five. Are we in the right cinema? This is screen five. This is screen five, yeah. Well, it's a Saturday afternoon and this show, film's been out a while, hasn't it? I think we're the only ones in here. So that means I'm definitely falling asleep. I don't know if it matters if we sit in our allocated seat, mate. I think we might have a bit of room. No one coming. Just us. Oh, did the screen hear me? Oh yeah, piracy. She's very observant of Phoebe. She said how this hair there, this bloke spinning that card round, and the hair there on the right, which is a woman, I think, or might be a guy from Wayne's World, it's not moving. Not even a strand of hair was moving, was it? Stupid. I'll probably forget all your names after this weekend, except Sprinkles. I wish you was my best friend. Cinema done. That's the one. Bye. Oh, it's a bit quieter up here now, isn't it? Get to the chopper. He's still there, isn't it? Hovering on one leg. Nice. Well, my comprehensive review, I always fall asleep at a cinema. I did nap for about 15 minutes. I can't stop it no matter what happens. Every single time, I just, and I was okay. Uh, it was all right. I woke up from my sleep of Will Arnett, the famous actor, doing Dirty Dancing with the dog. Like the actual, I've had the time of my life scene. That was actually very funny. What did you think, girls? It was good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. You enjoy it, Clay? It's all right. Yeah. Okay, comprehensive movie review. All right, we're back. I wanted to show you actually. I had some pizza stones arrive, and they've actually arrived like this. You see all these cracks in it? So it's, these are really nice, cool pizza stones to um, cook awesome pizza indoors. This one's even worse. Got a crack all down it. So I'm hoping to send that back. All right, there was a dog in that film called Sprinkles. It looked just like Amy. I tried to catch a very short clip of it. Uh, and there's Sprinkles right now. Maybe we should just change your name to Sprinkles. <laughs> Yeah. What's there? So tonight I'm going to be editing you uh, and I'm putting it up Sunday morning uh, instead of Monday and doing a fun day because just the way the week's gone I've not had enough time. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be doing that and then I'll be charging the camera up again and just basically documenting the charity walk tomorrow. It is insanely hot out there today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be hotter so I'll probably get a bit of sunburn. So there'll be no vlog. Uh, vlog next week or behind the scenes it'll just be the charity walk thing so uh hopefully i can capture it i'm not really prepared i'm pretty tired but uh we're gonna do it we're gonna do it so from me and our amazing new kitchen i'm gonna say goodbye i hope you've had an uh, awesome week you enjoyed it with us chloe bye mrs barry bye all right have you had a good week i have i'm so relieved this is all done boston Goodbye, mate, and Phoebe. Goodbye, mate. Bye.